Hi guys, got another AliExpress post bag video for you. You know the drill. We'll go through some parcels from AliExpress that I've got for various projects. I will put the links to the items in the description below. Uh, so if you want to check them out on AliExpress, you can do so. The, where I can, there'll be affiliate links. So if you click on that and you go through with a purchase, I'll get a few pennies uh, for my efforts. Uh, so yeah, let's go and take a look at the items. Here they all are. Get them away. The big one first. Twelve point six V two A. This is this should be a charger. Should be a UK plug charger. I suspect it's not. No. Nope. It is a lithium polymer, lithium ion poly charger. Uh, it's a 12.6 volt, 2 amp charger. It has a little uh, indication light. Uh, it's basically for charging uh, 3S uh, lithium ion batteries that go up to 12.6 volts and then shut off. Should be a UK plug. But here it is. It's an adapter, travel adapter. Um, the description, item description actually said it was a UK plug, so I will question that with the seller. Get a partial refund. That's not an issue. It's still usable. It just looks ridiculous. Um, so we'll see about that. Next up, the crunchy ones. Bag of Doritos. These are... That was my neighbour's motorbike. Uh -huh. These are... 18650 uh, battery clips. Let me find one. 18650 lithium ion battery and it top and tails and they snap together if you want to create a bigger one smaller one uh, I'm planning on using some 3s so that's three in series six 18650 batteries Ooh, how do these come apart hence the charger and this was just to keep it a bit neater instead of wrapping them all up in a bit of duct tape this keeps them all neat and secure and a bit of a better package so yeah very handy these were very cheap uh 20 in total i believe be able to use those on lots of projects that need 18650 batteries now this one should be yep yeah. Same kind of deal. Three. How about there? Two. Three. Two. Same idea, but this is a 2S, 2 series. Um, you put two in there, top and bottom. Uh, and this. You can either do it in 2S2 two series, which will double the voltage, or if you do them in parallel, it will double the capacity and keep it at 3.7 volts. Again, just to keep it neat, keep everything tidy. So yeah, again, very cheap. It should be 10 of these. 10, yep. Yeah. Very handy. What are these? Huh. These are thermal switches. I'll get one out for you. Actually got these, the idea of these, from Tech2C. Um, stick a video up there. Uh, it was on a video to quieten his PSU for his 3D printer. Um, his PSU that he got off uh, Banggood, I believe. Uh, China PSU. 
the fan there's a cooling fan and it is always on um, it increases with the load but when there's no load the fan remains on and there are some PSUs out there that have a fan that switches off uh, and basically on further inspection on the circuit board some people have taken it apart and there is a thermal switch that has been removed and it's basically just been jumpered across um, so there is a fix on the internet and Tech2C uh, has gone through and done this uh, and he uses a KSD9700 thermal switch which is rated at 45, 45 degrees Celsius and basically when this end gets to 45 degrees uh, it opens this is a normally sorry it is normally open and when it gets to 45 degrees uh, the thermal switch kicks in and it completes the circuit uh, so this goes in between the fan uh, power and the fan unit itself so when the PSU unit goes above 45 degrees this kicks in and the fan comes on cools it down and when it gets below 45 uh, it switches off simple as that again if you need more info check out the card that was at the top Five of these, I only needed one. Oops. Uh-oh. It's an old eight millimeter, no it's not. Uh, here's some LEDs with a broken case. Looks like the mailman has had his go at this. This is a five volt USB connected warm white five meter LED strip um, very cheap got it on offer and I've got a few little lamp projects where I want to make a five volt uh, powered off a USB wall socket uh, lamp so I just needed a strip of uh, five volt warm LEDs um, the reel is broken that shouldn't matter let's see if I've got a wall connection little iPhone charger it is 5 volts rated to 1 amp uh, so it should power these not to the ultimate brightness I imagine but we'll give it a go make sure it's working let's see if I can reach plugs into a USB socket Whee. This had some charge in it. Ta da! Mm. They are really bright. Okay, so that works. So I won't bother asking for a partial refund or anything. I think the mail just got the better of the reel, but it's secured the LEDs sufficiently. But I'll not bother kicking up a fuss. It is really cheap plastic. There we go. That is from that last item. Static bags, always exciting. There's a few in here. Uh -huh. I know what package this is. So, let's get a knife or oh, scissors. Great cut, Stephen, right across the thermal seal.
This is a voltage step up, maybe. Step down. I think what this one is. Let's have a look. And we've got in plus and minus, which would make you think this is a step down. So this is a step down to five volt. I believe I needed one. Uh, step a high voltage down to five volts so I could get a regulated five volt supply. I may be lying to you. I will double check. But that is what it is or isn't. Huh. This is a little relay board for the Wemos Mini D1 Mini. It sits on a Wemos ESP8266 board, and it is a five volt. Sorry, a a five volt AC relay. So your high power supply uh, would go in there and you will be able to turn it on and off using a pin on the ESP8266. Couple of header pins to go with it. What is this? This is an 8266 uh, breakout board. Um, this allows you to work with an ESP8266 uh, and you can put it onto a breadboard. Usually they, it comes kind of like this. So the pins are all together. What you do with these headers. Solder them on. And it goes inside a breadboard. Really cheap item, very handy if you're wanting to program and mess about with an ESP8266. And last, but not least, This is a an Arduino development board. There's a little five volt regulator. And there is the actual Atmel chip. And this plugs directly into your USB port. For example, this was your PC. Very handy little board just for developing and prototyping on. You can focus on the chip. Yes, this is known as the Mini SS Micro. It's basically a Pro Mini in a very small form factor. So it's the Atmel 32U microprocessor. So it doesn't need a USB to serial converter. That's within the chip. So it's one unit with a voltage regulator. There's a crystal. This is just for developing and very quick prototyping, solder the pins on and you've got yourself a tiny little Arduino. And some header pins to go with it. And that is it. Don't forget guys, if you like this, give the video a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed yet, please do so. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys.